Hello friends, so today I am going to show you how to use Microsoft Identity in .NET 8 to generate peer tokens. So these tokens can be used for authentication and authorization. So I'll be creating a .NET Web API uh, and then I will create or write the code to generate this peer token. And then uh, I'll show you how you can use Postman to call this web api and uh, do the authentication and authorization right so uh, so this is not jwt token but this is the microsoft identity bearer tokens okay it uses the oauth2 protocol and it is uh, highly secure encrypted uh, and very popular so so it and it is uh, supported by asp.net web api and asp.net platform so let's go ahead and see uh, how to do this before we move forward please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon and of course like the video open visual studio 2022 and then click on create a new project here search for uh, asp.net core web api and click on this click on next button here uh, give a name to your web, web api your api okay so this is the name of our uh, API and then click on next button. So I have selected here by default is .NET 8. You can, uh, you know, install .NET 8 and then use this uh, if you're practicing. Uh, if you want to see how to install .NET 8, I have a video on that. I will provide the link in the description below. So you can follow that install .NET 8 and then, uh, you know, use that for your projects. Then click on create button. Okay, so the Web API project has been uh, created and you can see the default weather forecast controller. We will reuse the same controller and uh, uh, add the authorization and authentication to this. Okay, so uh, first let's start with by creating a folder. So right click your uh, project. And create a new folder name this folder data layer let's close this so data layer folder is created now and now let's add some uh, nuclear packages which you will need so right click on the project go to manage nuclear packages go to browse and here add identity dot entity framework so this is the one so click on install accept okay next one you should install is the design so entity framework dot design so entity framework dot design this one click on install and the next one you will need is sql server so this one microsoft.nd framework code sql server so install this as well so now you have all the uh, nuget packages so next thing that we need to do is the uh we'll add some code right so now go back to your data layer folder and create a class inside that so let's create a class okay so data contest identity is my class 
and then I will I will use identity db context here and then so let's create this uh, constructor okay so data context uh, entity constructor here everything is fine so in order to generate it you just hit control dot okay then it will give you options and then you can just select that generate this constructor so that will generate the constructor so now the constructor and the class has been created so let's now go to the program.cs so here you have to add few lines of code the first uh, so go here before this builder dot build line okay so you can add the code here so builder dot services dot add db context and here you have to give data context identity okay which is our class which we created just now so and then options options dot use sql server okay so yeah you need sql server express so so please install that okay when you uh, if you don't have it so once you have sql server express uh, so this will work so use you just click server here and then within this we need to add some more code we have to use the configuration so which will be builder dot configuration dot get connection string yeah so let's name our connection string let's bring it to the next line here is semicolon and then let's uh, name our connection string something like db connection right so this is the this is the connection string here and then the next line should be to add the entity api endpoints so which should be again builder dot services dot add identity api endpoints and here provide entity user class okay identity user so this one and then dot add entity framework stores stores and the type should be your uh, data context identity that we have used here so let's do the type here now so we have added these two lines of code and the next thing you have to do is the uh, add the authorization so dot add authorization uh, here app dot map identity api and uh, identity user again yeah so that's the type and then close it so let's copy this and we will create a connection string in the app settings so go here add here connection strings and the string will be the one we have copied db connection and here we have type some code like server dot sql express
database equal to so give some database name so whatever name you give here so in the same name you know uh, the a, a, a database will be created so i'm giving here like dot net auth so then you have to say that you trust this connection so you have to add this parameter connection equal to true and then also trust the server certificate okay trust server certificate that's true so i guess that's it so it should should work now uh, right now let's add a so since we want the authorization to be available to this controller we need to add an attribute here so so i want anyone requesting this get here to get the whether data should be authorized otherwise they should get a authorization error so in order to do that i have to add a attribute here okay so which is the authorized attribute so authorize attribute added now go to package manager console here or you can go to tools uh, and package manager console okay so open this and then check your entity framework version first so to do that dot net ef and here you should be able to see the entity framework dot net command line uh, and all these things here okay so dot command line is 8.0.3 so that is uh, installed so which means we are good if not then you need to uh, install that so to install uh, the uh, .NET tool uh, you have to type .NET tool install hyphen hyphen global .NET hyphen ef okay so there's the command and that will install uh this dot net command line tools now uh if i so i'll so i can hit that actually to show you what will happen but it will actually update it so yeah so see, see the version has been updated uh to 8.0.4 so if it is not already installed so it will install it if it's already there so it will update it so now uh we can run the migrations so to run the migrations you need to write this dot net ef space actually dot net ef space migrations add and give some name here right any name is fine abc i am saying init so and then hit enter okay so the build has now succeeded and you should see this migrations folder migrations folder here and inside this you can see all this code so basically it will create all the roles etc in the database table and then our authentication and authorization all these things will work it will be able to generate the bearer token everything you know will work because of this code and the database corresponding database tables so that part is done now let's run it okay so everything is working fine okay i don't want to use, use swagger uh, to show it to you i will use postman rather uh, because it is very popular and a lot of people use it and it is also you can save your responses you know and uh, requests and everything and then you can retry those it will be very easy for you so i'll be showing uh, i'll be using postman to show you how to call this api so open postman now our postman has opened and you also need to keep this running right so this visual studio you keep it running so that your web api is available in a particular url so then next step is copy this okay up to this and the port will be different for you for every uh, for, for different people it will be different so it's a random port number so and then paste this here and then here 
स्लैश वेदर फोरकास्ट ओके फोकस सो दैट इज वॉट सो दिस इज द कंट्रोलर विच वी वॉन्ट टू कॉल फ्रॉम हियर सो इफ यू गो हियर टू दिस सो वी आर ट्राइंग टू कॉल दिस गेट वी आर डूइंग गेट हियर सो वेन आई से स्लैश वेदर फोरकास्ट सो दिस गेट विल बी कॉल्ड सो बट सिंस देर इज अथराइज एट्रीब्यूट देयर सो इट विल फेल राइट सो इफ आई रन इट सो आई शुड आई विल गेट ए फोर जीरो वन ऑन अथराइज बिकॉज आई हैव सेट दैट इट नीड्स टू बी दर रिक्वेस्ट नीड्स टू बी ऑथराइज so when i am calling it it is looking for a token in the request so and it is not finding the token so it is throwing me this unauthorized error next step is to register a user so go here and then type this uh, so use the register uh, text at the end of the url and then use a post here you have to go to body and select raw and text as json and here uh something like this you have to type okay give your email id something some email id email id and a test you know any any password it should have uppercase and number and a special character okay so let's now send this request to the api the api should come back yes with a success right so 200 okay means it is a success so the user has been registered now we can use the same user to log in first right when you log in it will get a uh, token in response and for all subsequent requests we have to use that token so in order to log in then we have to see what should be the format of the login so you can go here to swagger click here and uh, here you can see that for login it is using something like this the example right you can copy this and it is a post request uh, so post login and now we can copy this example like this so let's now go back to postman and uh, for login again we will use the login url so login go to body i can draw text as json here so now we have to use this this thing so copy this go back here and paste it okay so rest of the things we can leave it as it is uh, and then click on send will not work because it's a post so post and then again send so now we have received a 200 okay and we have also got a uh, bearer token which is this one right so copy this bearer token and go to your uh, first tab right so which is this uh, weather forecast here now we will call it again but using the bearer token now we are logged in right so we are we have we are logged in we have got a token so which means we should be authorized to access uh any page which has the authorized attribute we can access that so here click on authorization and here token type as bearer token and here you have to copy paste right you have already copied so paste it here so now it is so i pasted that so so now it should work so click on send button and you can see in response we are getting all the data back from the api so this is how the bearer token works hope this video has provided some value to you and uh, again please subscribe to my channel hit the bell icon and don't forget to like the video all right thanks for watching